Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So y'all, today I just wanted to come up on here and quickly talk to everyone. Um, I haven't had like a sit down video where we just simply talking. And today I was up on my route. I was listening to a lot of, I listened to gym shows. Love, love him. And I feel like right now he really my inspiration. And I really wanted to start this series of just simply talking about how I learned to love myself. And we're going to start from the beginning. Well, I'm not even going to say the beginning. We're going to start from my suicide attempt. Because I feel like that was a big thing that was up on my heart today. Not more so mine, but just thinking about other people. I know that there's younger people than me. I'm 22. My suicide attempt was when I was like 13. And I know that there's probably other 13 year olds out there that's probably feeling sad and down about life. And I kind of just want to share my story and just kind of share like how did I get through it. And the things that I felt like that helped me through my situation so before we get into talking about everything make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you press that notification bell so you get notified every single time when your girl posts a new freaking video and my social media is gonna be somewhere right here so make sure y'all follow me up on all of my platforms so we can connect and yeah so y'all can keep up on my every single day life so let's get into i feel like i'm gonna keep these sweet sequences going sequences i'm just making it my own words but i'm gonna keep this going until god tell me to move on from it and we gonna head this as loving yourself this first episode is kind of just gonna be about my suicide attempt in that moment the things that i was thinking and how did i overcome it up in the moment of everything happening so i was 13 um i had already had been like depressed sad stuff like that i had already was going through that and it was really it was really 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 hard for me because you know by me being the youngest and everything was just so chaotic in my life at that time i had daddy problems if y'all ever want to see that video where i talked about that y'all can go up on my youtube channel and look i don't know how long that was but it's up on here so if y'all ever want to see that y'all can always go back and listen to that video but basically I was going through something with my dad, him and my mom, they had got divorced and you know, being the youngest, me not understanding well and also how everything was going with me and his relationship, I always was thinking like I was the problem, which as I grew up, I, I figured that I was never the problem. But um, it was one day I just kept like sending my daddy text messages and he he wasn't responding he he kept on like if you go up on messenger you could tell when a person looking at your messages but he wasn't saying anything and basically i was telling him because it was just like so much going on with me me and him i wasn't even thinking about nobody else i was just kind of thinking like i was thinking that if he ain't here for me right now this gonna hurt him up in a different kind of way that make him think that he should have been here for me i did that's what i was thinking. um i was kind of just thinking that and that's when i decided like yeah i'm i'm gonna do this tonight so i, I text him and i was like basically like you're gonna regret this i hope that when you look up in my casket that you just feel bad and stuff like that and and i took a whole lot of pills i just remember just taking a whole lot of pills i had to go lay down because it literally felt like i was gonna die like my heart it was pumping out of my chest real fast and i just thought that that was the end of it so i just kind of went to sleep I, I went to sleep thinking like i don't know what i'm preparing myself for tomorrow but hopefully this 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 is the end of it and i remember like laying there up in bed and my heart was pumping so fast out of my chest to the point i'm just thinking like oh my 
God, like, I'm really about to die. Like, I laid there thinking that that day was going to be the last of me and that was just going to be it. So, I went to sleep. But then that's when the next morning, I ended up waking up. And I feel like that was like a, that was like a turning point up in my life where I just kind of felt like it's purpose behind me i started to really and i started to evaluate things everything that next morning like the people who i wasn't thinking about because low-key i was only thinking about one person and that was him it wasn't even me it wasn't my family who was actually there for me it wasn't none of that but the next morning when i woke up i started thinking about all of that i'm just thinking like bro i was really I was really about to take my life over somebody who truly don't care about me and leave all the people who do care about me behind. And I started to think about like my sister, me and her room was right next to each other and I started to write up in my journal. I've been journaling for like since I was a little kid, like seven. And I remember writing up in my journal like I'm sorry to my sister because she was gonna have to be the one who walked past my room every single day and just know that I'm not up in there. And like all of this stuff and after that, that's when it came in that I came to realize that at this point you don't wanna die. You just want the pain to go away. You you don't want to keep on living up in the misery of every single day waking up and you just going through the same cycles, going through the same feelings. Nothing feel like it's getting better. But that's when I learned very well that we got to stop trying to live our life for other people. We got to stop trying to live this lifetime trying to let other people see us and love us. And I, I used to think about it like how, how I am now. I really woke up that day thinking like i have a purpose that god knew i couldn't not go through what i went through leave this earth without sharing my story and probably helping somebody else because somebody somebody you gonna get it you're gonna be proud of yourself that you did not give up that even after you had that suicide attempt you did not give up because then you look back upon your life and you realize that everything that you thought that was so bad so bad at that point it all passed and i feel like that's how we should live every single day just knowing that no matter how hard the days get because i know the days get hard i know the days get hard but you got to understand that that shall pass too like even when we happy that shall pass too nothing lasts for forever nothing no feeling no emotion no person Somebody that you probably feel like you can't live without. It's like a, a moment going to come where that's going to pass. Because so highly, like, I needed my daddy to love me at that point. I learned that I can, I can forgive my daddy and not need him to be up in my life. I can forgive him and move on with my life. Because us holding on to the past, us holding on to what people didn't do, us holding on to the pain ain't doing nothing but holding us back. Nobody who hurts you is over there every single day crying about because they hurt you. They move on from that. And you start taking more responsibility for ourselves. I'm saying that up in a loving way because I feel like sometimes from growing up as a baby all the way up, somehow we, we get so attached to people to the point we like we feel like we don't matter when up in real life that's who matters <laughs> who's supposed to matter to you fully because when you sad and when you down and when you out and i'm learning this every single day that i grow today that's why i'm so thankful i thank god every single day for not allowing me to die then because then that's when i'm not able to look back on to that time or the times before this when I thought days wasn't I was never gonna see the sunshine again and then that's when I'm here and sometimes I cry that I'm up in the sunshine because oh my god it's like before I never felt like I get here and I'm just here to put out this video to tell you that no matter how bad the storm feel right now you're somehow gonna make it out and you're gonna be thankful that you made it out because it'll show you that you can make it out of anywhere up in any point of your life you don't have to stay down 
You don't have to be sad. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to keep chasing people when you can just chase that feeling inside of yourself. When I was 13, I wish somebody would have told me this, that if at that time I was able to just simply not feel like I'm responsible for everybody else, my dad, my mom, they divorced, everybody, everything else, and I would have just made myself my priority, I wouldn't have went through nothing that I went through because I needed love from people. I needed security from people. I needed safety from people. But more and more that I grew up and I learned that you won't never find that safety nowhere else other than inside of you with yourself with yourself is where you're gonna find out everything that you need was literally always there all alone like but it's just us being humans we gotta go through this life experience living the full experience of life so we gotta go through the ups and we gotta go through the downs and we gotta go through the moments where probably tomorrow we probably don't think that we make it but then that's why it is a tomorrow because it shows you that you made it <laughs> you made it and i just wanted to come up on here and share my story share how i got out of it and that's just simply me being responsible for me me learning that if ain't nobody gonna up on this earth gonna make me feel good it's gonna be me when it's coming from you is a part that nobody can take from you unless you allow people to take you. But when the power is up in your hands, you ain't never got to worry about nobody securing you down. You ain't never got to worry about nobody loving you the right way. Have that obligation to yourself to know when a person is treating you bad, okay, I'm going to love me enough to be able to walk out, of, walk out of this situation with my hell high, knowing that good things shall happen to me. You got to know what you deserve. You got to understand what you deserve out of life. You got to know exactly what you deserve. You can't be deceived by what you're going through, what you may feel. You can't. You got to be able to love yourself enough to get yourself out, to be responsible for yourself, to make sure that you be good and you feel good. We don't know how to feel when it's us that got to make us feel good. But I'm telling y'all, when y'all get up in the mix of it, y'all going to learn that that's the best love that you could ever give yourself. Because the things that we seek out out of other people can terrorize our life, can mess it up. And that's the example of mine, me letting my, my father just take over my life, <laughs> take over my needs, take over my wants. Now I look back upon that and I just think this is why I love that I love myself. Because... If I didn't, I'd always be somewhere that I was not never meant to be. And ask yourself, how would I feel if I got out of this? Ask yourself, how would that feel? How would it feel if you lived and I died? How would that feel? Ask yourself, is you making yourself sad or are you allowing them to make you sad? Ask yourself, how do you think it'll feel if you got yourself out? If you made your life different. Because we all got a testimony. We all got something that God takes us through that you're going to be able to use this for another person. I feel like that's why I went through my whole journey. So I can be able to come up on here every single time with y'all. And be able to tell y'all my testimony of how I got out. What I went through, how I got out. And how I'm living now. And that's good. And I want this same thing for y'all too. For people to comment upon my video this give me hope and then that's when i see them and they hoping they they having big crazy faith they having this could make somebody stay alive and i hope i hope with this video that's what i did i hope i made somebody stay alive <laughs> so yeah this is the end of the video if you stay to the end of the video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you press that notification bell so you get notified every single time when your girl posts a new video before we get out of here i just want to speak a little bit over anybody life who's watching this even if it's one person or a million people <laughs> i just want to say god be there with everybody who needs you allow anybody who's up in a dark place for them to understand that that shall pass and that it is always sunshine after the rain god i thank you i love you and he love y'all too with that being said bye